Welcome to the presentation on functions. Functions are something that when I first learned it, it was kind of like uh, I had a combination of I was one confused and and at the same time I was like, well, what's even the the point of of, of learning this? So hopefully, um, at least in this introduction um, lecture, we can get at least a, a very general sense of of what a function is and and why it might be useful. So let's just start off with just the, the overall concept of a function. A function is something that you can give it an input, and we'll start with just one input, but it, actually you can give it multiple inputs. You give a function an input, let's call that input x, right? And you can view a function as, I guess, a, a bunch of different ways you can view it. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the concept of a black box. A black box is kind of a box. You don't know what's inside of it. But if you put something into it, um, like this x, and let's call that box, let's say the, the function is called f, then it'll output what we call f of x. Now, I know this, this terminology might seem a little confusing at first, but um, let, let's make some, um, I guess, let's define what's inside the box in different ways. Let's say that the function was, uh, let's say that f of x is equal to x squared plus 1. Then if I were to say what is f of, let's say what's f of 2, right? Well, that means we're taking 2 and we're going to put it into the box, right? And I want to know what comes out of the box when I put 2 into it. Well, inside the box, we know we, we do this to the input. We take the x, we square it, and we add 1. So f of 2 is 2 squared, which is 4, plus 1, which is equal to 5. I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, well, Sal, this just seems like a very convoluted way of um, substituting x into an equation and just finding out the result. And, and I agree with you right now. But as you'll see, a function can become kind of a, a more uh, general thing than just an equation. For example, let me say, let me actually, actually, not, let me not erase this. Let, let, me, let me define a function as this. f of x is equal to x squared plus 1 if x is even, and it equals x squared minus 1 if x is odd. Now notice, this would have been, um, this is something that we've never really seen before. This isn't just um, a, a, what I would call an analytic expression. This isn't just, you know, x plus something squared. It's, we're actually saying, depending on what type of x you put in, we're going to do a different thing to that x. So let me ask you a question. What's f of 2 in this example? Well, if we put 2 here, it says if x is even, you do this one. If x is odd, you do this one. Well, 2 is even, so we do this top one. So we'd say 2 squared plus 1. Well, that equals 5. But then what's f of 3? Well, if we put the 3 in here, we'd use this case, because 3 is odd. So we do 3 squared minus 1. f of 3 is equal to 8. So notice, this was a little bit more, um, I guess, you could even say abstract or unusual than this case. And I'm going to keep doing examples of functions, and I'm going to show you how uh, general this idea can be. And if you get confused, I'm going to show you that the actual function problems you're going to encounter are actually not that hard to do. I'm, I just want to make sure that you at least get exposed to kind of the, the general idea of what a function is. You, know, you can view almost anything in the world as as a function. Um, let's say that there is a a function called Sal. In case you don't know, that's my name, All right? And I'm a function. Um, let's say that if you were to um, if you were to let me think. If you were to give me food, what do I produce? Right. So what is Sal a food? Right. So if you input food into Sal, what will Sal produce? Well, I won't go into some of the things that I would produce, but um, I would produce, I would produce videos, I would produce math videos if you gave me food, math videos, right? I I'm just a function. You give me food, and and maybe actually maybe I have multiple inputs. Maybe you give me a food and a computer. And I would produce math videos for you, right? And maybe you are a function. I don't know your name. I, I would like to. 
but I don't know your name. And let's say um, if I were to input math videos into you, then you will produce, um, let's see, what would you produce? If I gave you math videos, you would produce A's on test. A's on math test, right? A's on your math test, hopefully. Hopefully you're not taking someone else's math test, right? So that's interesting. If you give, well, let's, let's, let's take the computer away. Let's say that all Sal needs is food, which is kind of true. So if you put food into Sal, Sal of food, he produces math videos, right? And then if I were to put math videos into you, then you produce A's on your math test, right? So let's, let's think of an interesting problem. What is you? of Sal of food. I know this seems very ridiculous, but I actually think we, we, we might be going someplace. So <laughs> we might be getting somewhere with this idea. Well, first we would try to figure out, what is Sal of food? Well, we already figured out. If you put food into Sal, Sal of food is equal to math videos. So this is the same thing as U of, oh, sorry, U, that's Y-O-U. I'm trying to confuse you. U of math videos, right? And I already determined. We already said. Well, if you put math videos into the function called U, or you know whatever your your name might be, um, then it produces A's on your math test. So that U of math videos equals A's on your math test. So U of sal of food will produce A's on your math test. And notice, I mean, we just said what happens when you put food into Sal. Um, you know, it, 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 this could, would be a very different outcome if you put, like, if it, you replaced food with, um, let's say, poison. Right? Because if you put poison into Sal, Sal of poison, not that I would recommend that you did this, Sal of poison, would equal um, would equal death. No, no, I shouldn't say something. So no, 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 not I. Uh, well, you 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 get the idea. There there wouldn't there wouldn't be math videos. But anyway, let let me move on. So with that kind of uh, I'm not so clear whether that would be useful um, uh, example with the food and the math videos. Uh, let, let's do some actual problems using functions. So if I were to tell you that I had one function called f of x is equal to x plus 2. And I had another function said g of x is equal to, let's say, x squared minus 1. If I were to ask you what g of f of 3 is, well, the first thing we want to do is evaluate what f of 3 is, right? So if you if you, you the 3 would replace the x. So f of 3, so f of 3 is equal to 3 plus 2, which equals 5, right? So g of f of 3 is the same thing as g of of 5, right? Cuz f of 3 is equal to 5. Sorry for the little bit of messiness, right? So then what's g of 5? Well, then we take this 5 and we put it in in place of this x, right? So g of 5 is 5 squared, 25 minus 1, which equals 24. So g of f of 3 is equal to 24. Hopefully that gives you a taste of what a function is all about. And I really apologize if, if I have either confused or scared you with um, the sal food slash poison math video example. Uh, but in the next uh, set of uh, presentations. I'm going to do a lot more of these examples and I think you'll get the idea of at least how to do these uh, problems that that you might see on your on your math test and maybe get a sense of what functions are all about. Um, see you in the next video. Bye.